okay. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. 
Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way.
Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <clears throat> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. 